Hello and welcome to this a little bit late, but challenge recap for Path Exile Affliction League. So I, I've done 38 challenges. I didn't get the idea for this video. I got it from viewers. So thank you for that, for people who, who watch the streams. And I decided to make a little recap. I'll try to take to make this under five minutes so you guys can grab it all and try to do as many challenges as you can. There's... Uh, around two to three weeks to finish these it can be finished but it will take around 300 ish maps to complete plus minus 50 so don't get too scared it's not that difficult i have compiled these into notepads which i will be posting down in the description below and these basically cover how you do these challenges and what you can do at the same time and so on so completed while leveling we have challenge 2 4 7 5 8 and 18 with challenge 18 being three out of four completed while leveling that's uber lab required that's what you're going to get from yellow maps or you can buy the key for the uber lab and then go and do it while you do uber lab you can do other challenge as well now I will go into these that will take slight effort before going into those that can be completed at the same time. Slight effort, beginner's basics, follow the vendor recipes, I've written them all. Peddlers, um, peddlers produce as well. These are actually vendor recipes, these are buy from vendors and so on. Vendor recipes, vendor recipes too. Enhanced equipment, this is basically to equip items that are fractured, split and so on. Pay attention to the modifiers, just equip the item, you will find them in maps, equip the item, toss it away, and that's it. For Veiled Items, June, everything else is written. Now, for these that can be completed at the same time, there are a lot of challenges that can be completed at the same time, and I have... Uh, Compile them into a list. Challenge 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 22, 27, 28, 29, 30, 32, 34, and 35. The only thing is you would start from Guardian Maps because you need to do a hundred of them. You can either chisel them, quality them, do regex to get 72 quantity because you get the last 8% from increased quantity of items found in this area and you need 80% to actually count for the other challenges that you need to do, which is basically kill a trial master and so on. Now, everything is explained here. You do also master missions and so on. You find the, um, you find the, the wisp things and everything is collected here neatly. So you can just give it a little read and that's basically it. Now, one thing that is going to be a little bit difficult, maybe, expensive over time is to finish ultimatum to get trial master that's a huge rng because you need to complete wave 10 you need to do the points and so on but thankfully i have also made a passive tree that combines it all into one so this passive tree will basically help you to um to get all these challenges at once. Now, here are a few things. What you can remove from the, the passive tree. You can remove the Eldritch one, the Eater of Worlds, if you're not doing it. You can remove Searing Exerc if you're not doing it. You can remove Maven Destructive Play if you're not doing it. So adjust with points, everything else. You need to have at least either Searing Exerc, Wrath of the Cosmos and everything else, either Eater of Worlds, Eldritch Gaze and everything else, it eases up uh, currency gain and, and stuff. Maven with destructive play. You don't need the, the other side. You just need these six points. And Remnants of the Past is just a bonus. If you have extra points to spend, pick up Vivid Memories so you can get Cortex. Pick up Conquered Conquerors so you can get Conqueror Maps. That's basically it for this one. Now, let's do one by one. These ones are sorted. Which ones you need to actually sit down, buy, use, trade and do things divine destiny turn in div cards here's a list of div cards ctrl f to search for these mods just buy the cheapest ones or farm them good luck with farming them just buy the cheapest ones critical crafting use crafts all of these are self-explanatory uh to be safe get guff anywhere rank three or hillock but not an intervention 
you can buy uh, beasts, Einher beasts around 10 chaos. This can be useful for uh, other challenges to have a rare map with five mods as well. Tier three incursion crafting bench, Apex of Ascension. So you would buy a, um, an Apex of Ascension, Apex of Ascension room for Apex of Azoatl. There we go. Or without Apex of Azoatl, it's basically 50, 60 chaos. You can buy that one. You can make that one on your own. Remarkable realms complete all unique maps. Two things here. Winter Square can be made by vendoring Agnarod North, South, East and West together to get it. You don't have to buy it. Cheaper that way. Doriani's Machinarium is a very expensive map to buy. I think it's around 35 Divines right now. I suggest finding groups on Global or TFT, the groups that are willing to, to share a spot for a certain amount of currency. This might be like 10 Divine Challenge just because of that. I still have no idea why they do it. Or you can actually farm it yourself by doing Delve, finding Grand Architect's Temple, killing the Grand Architect, and being lucky to drop a Doriani. It is what it is. Tremendous Tomaturgy, that's to use Divine Font in Uber Labs. The easiest ones are listed for, listed for Uber. The most difficult one that I don't suggest doing is a Double Uber Lab for Corrupted Transfigured Skill Gem. You can do these easily. It will take you two, three Uber Labs. It's completely, completely fine. Memory Madness, you just need to buy memories and do them. Keep in mind, you need to roll the maps. If they're normal, they don't count because they have zero quantity. So you need to roll the maps and uh, do the maps. You just need to kill the boss. You don't need to do anything else. But this also counts for Wisp challenges and whatever other mechanic you get in, in it. Lavish Luxuries, use crafting currencies. Use the six the, on the first uh, part of the list because the other three are expensive. Elder Slayer's Exalted Orb is around 60-70 chaos. By any, it doesn't matter. Everything else can be can be done while you farm the other stuff. This will take planning is um, to do cross contamination. There's the ones that I that I sorted that are basically easy to do. Five possessed rogue exiles easy. Uh, very situational and iffy, cartographer strongbox, that can be if you want to do it, but I wouldn't suggest. Blight boss, while well affected by a shrine, is easy. You can do you can do it pretty darn quickly. Uh, expedition, while well, you're in a breach, this one is situational, but it's also easy to do. Medium RNG, though, you need to find a breach that's uh, relatively close to, to an expedition, or you can just kite and drag a mob and you have to be in the circle of breach to to count as completed yeah syndicate member that is possessed huge rng i would just skip that one and um, do uh, do the ultimatum in a delirious map to tier one it's extremely easy i would skip cartographer and i would skip uh, june june things being possessed grand gripping rail this one is situational three of these you can complete by just playing the game Rare monsters with four modifiers, master tiers of scarabs, and defeat rare or unique monsters. You will complete this while doing the other maps. Defeat any delve boss and everything. You just need to grind a little bit for that one or pay. This can be difficult. Level 100 is always difficult. And open chests and then at the end game lab. This one is easy to do, but it will just take time. Choose a good lab layout and just mind off, turn on a movie and just do that thing. Difficult ones, Awakened Atlas, allocate all passive points because the feared is expensive, but if you are doing, if you're buying bosses, if you're buying boss carries, buy Uber, the Uber bosses, so you complete the challenge 39, which basically means to do Uber bosses. Out of these, you need to do four. You will get four invitations slash fragments for them while doing the other content, so keep that in mind. Sell those, buy carries, GG. Um... Malignant Mist Manifestation, this one is RNG, which one you do, you can buy this off of TFT and whatnot, if you find him, the more DPS you have it, you have easier, easier it is, I have written some small explanation what to avoid, so keep that in mind, Ultimate Undertaking, um, basically just buy the first four, it's, it's the, the, the cheapest way, but now, here's what you could potentially skip, and uh, which ones I would personally skip. I would skip Unreal Ultimatum if you don't want to do ultimatums at all, you hate ultimatums and yada yada, they make your maps living hell, just skip ultimatum, and then you have to choose either Ultimate Undertaking, 
currency for buying this can be used to buy uber bosses so you can either choose to not do that or grand ripping grail because if you don't want to run many labs i'm sorry i made this 10 minutes long it's it's a it's a lengthy lengthy one i wanted to make it for five but i can't explain anything in short but this is the simple and easy version i will make shorts for each each uh, segment of these if you have any questions feel free to post them down in the description below good luck on hunting the lotus set have a good end of the league in path of exile and for the next league i will do this one in the first week or two of the league because yeah that's the plan have a good one, and uh, if you like the video, give it a like. Sub if you don't mind. Uh, join our memberships. They are still work in progress. Have a good one. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.